What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. As we go ahead and take a look into New Girl, this is season number one, episode number 18, called Fancy Man Part 2. So this is a continuation from the last episode. Um, and we got introduced to a new character, ladies and gentlemen, in that last episode. If I remember correctly, I believe his name is Russell. I could be wrong, but I think his name is Russell. Uh, just give me time, just in case, and I'll eventually get his name right. Uh, but anyways, we are introduced to this guy. And his daughter happens to be in Jess's class. Now, Jess is a school teacher. I'm not too entirely sure what exactly she teaches. It kind of gives me vibes of like a free period, to be honest with you. It seems like that. I don't think she's an art teacher, uh, but I'm not even too entirely sure exactly what teacher she is. So if you guys would like to comment down below, feel free to do that. Um, but anyways, we got introduced to this Russell guy and he goes to Jess and pretty much tells her that he wants to take his daughter out of her class because he feels that she's not really learning anything there, which is why I don't really know what teacher she is. So feel free to comment down below if you guys know. Anyways, a lot of stuff went down that took place, ladies and gentlemen. That was just kind of the introduction of how we got to know this Russell guy and, and how he got uh, brought onto the show. And, you know, towards the end of it, it kind of showed as if he was interested in Jess more than just, hey, you're my daughter's teacher. You know what I mean? He wanted to actually go out and hang out with her. So that was something very unexpected. I didn't think that was going to happen, especially uh, considering what Jess had in mind when she was going over to his house. She was going to pretty much go off and tell this guy, hey, your daughter's staying in my classroom. You know what I mean? So uh, that was something I was not expecting. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Russell, if that's his name, he seemed pretty cool. He seemed like a pretty chill guy and, um, he's definitely loaded with a lot of money. Um, I don't know. I just had to throw that in there. I don't know why I just did. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this next one, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a fan of New Girl and what we do here in Geeked Out Nation, don't forget to leave the like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on our Patreon if you guys want some early and unedited episodes. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look into this next one, ladies and gentlemen, and see what Fancy Man Part 2 is all about. This is New Girl, and here we go. No pants. Oh, it's like a Winnie the Pooh. Honey, this man's from Paddington. Is it Donald the I Duck? I guess pretty much any Obviously. kind of bear, except for you and Alvin, <laughs> naked with a tie. Simon. Theodore. I saw his entire... Which I don't give them because I'm stingy with my gold, unless they dig for it. <laughs> oh my goodness, awkward. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the awkward part yet. Oh, that wasn't awkward? Oh. Hi. Sir, Winston, Russell. what do you think? Oh, thank God. Hey, what's up, babe? Hey, is that Shelby? Watch out. Wow. What was that? They okay. also made it oh, official last we episode. Should have been the, should have been the Shelby other and around. Winston. Okay, I'm just gonna ask Cece. The next time you guys want advice about girls, don't come crawling them. Sure, tomorrow night. Absolutely not. She's missing out, my man. That's the dude from Freaks yeah. and Geeks, uh, isn't it? Car to take Shelby to the airport. Oh, I don't have a car. It looks just like him. Hey, Schmidt. Uh, you mind if I use the uh, manbulant? There you go. Enjoy luxury. All good, man. I got your second set, so. Thank you. <laughs> hey, someone left your door open. Someone left your face beautiful. That stop you from seeing this? Yeah. Happy? <laughs> Does what he's told. Yeah. So you're the boss, and he's your little secretary. Oh, your sex secretary. Five nights together. I mean, you know, we both could use some space. Oh my God! Why would you tell her that, Winston? Did I say you can't. Something wrong? Yeah, Winston, you can't tell her that. Sorry. I couldn't hear you across all the space. Eat this granola bar first. I want to try something called the horse trough. Tell her no. Yes. No, Cece. I'm not That's having right. sex with you right now. I have to get everybody in the company. Do loud and clear, but do you know who didn't happen to hear you? What are you doing? Don't, don't fall don't, for don't it. Involve them. <laughs> don't involve them. <laughs> don't bring them into don't this. Don't tell me. Tell them. Damn it. Come on, Cece. You can't do this. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, Harold. Kuma. Pick up the phone and you ask him out for dinner. You know what? You're okay. right. I am sophisticated. Okay. I'm gonna do this. What is that? It's a phone. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a bunny. <laughs> Thus ends our journey through the words of Think Twice. It's all right. It's over. Standing ovation. All right. Her leaving has allowed me to realize the one thing that was missing in my life. Scarves? Undergraduate 
lady. Girls our age, what do they want? They want us to wed them, sire their children. They want you to have a, a, a bed frame. Mm -hmm. Really? Trust me, they are setting the bar very, very low. Right. They haven't even gone through the gay phase yet. Hey, man, I'm going to get over real quick. Just want to check on her and see if everything's all right. Sounds good, man. What? Dude, relax. What up, my man? Dick. Now, I think I want you to give me some space. Okay. All this space allows me opportunity to make love to some college chicks. Yeah. Hey, when's the last time you had mono? Tomorrow, you're going to say yesterday. <laughs> I have that team that you for, Mr. Schmidt. Why? Wow, what? Are you with? Location number three. Okay. What's fantasy location um, number three? How good are the Beatles? <laughs> Beatles are the best. Were you so upset when they broke up? I would have been, but I was one. Is I, everything I, okay? I gotta go. Um, oh. This ought to take care of the yeah. dinner, okay? Oh no, this is oh, not good. I cannot believe I almost left without... Um, here, there's a cap here. Get home oh. safe. I honestly thought he was gonna kiss her there. Oh! <gasps> Dude, Schmidt, why would you want to just do that shit in the car? Oh my god. I hope they get caught. I really do. I hope they get caught. <laughs> Buddy, nobody ever regretted throwing an after party. Oh, I do. Look, I feel so old here. He's calling a girl. Yeah, I do that professionally. You could get me drunk professionally? Are you a cop? <laughs> do you have identification on you? He's like, I gotta make sure. <laughs> Oh, this is at their house. I gotta call Jenna and tell her I'm making out with a bartender. Five nights a week. <laughs> yo, he is jamming, yo. <laughs> Shelby, babe, I don't want space. Neither do I. That's why I'm at your apartment. I got what? A plane. I wanted to see you. What? Babe, look, I'm in Mexico. I came to see you. Are you serious? I miss you, Shelby. You're so sexy, girl. Explain. This. Oh. I can't, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the entire world can explain that. Well, Winston, you mad? Is that what that was? He was bad? Because you with CC? I'm so tall. I feel like the Chinese basketball group. Mm, can you drop me off at my dorm? It's called Hamilton. Like the vomit? No. <laughs> he's so oh, he's so yeah. hammered. <laughs> I've never jumped out of a movie car before. I've oh, never been that hammered before. Uh, okay. you know, Nick, that's the road. Up? You want the wood? Uh, remain a secret. And while I respect the fact that you listen to Wicked while you're alone, uh, I, I can use that information <laughs> <laughs> at any point in time. By the way, there's a stop sign like right Wicked is awesome. Well, you probably want to slow down. Oh. Maybe it's a ghost. It's like, I don't think it's a ghost sign. Because if somebody like you is sleeping with somebody like her, then they it's coming. It. It's coming. I think I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> think of what? Do you think now is the right moment? I think so. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Nick was over the top. <laughs> But that was our episode for today season number one episode number 18 fancy man part two now i'm very happy with the outcome of this episode because i was very worried for a second um i kind of thought that we were gonna see uh russell be like out of the picture you know they went on a few dates but he kept leaving early he kept leaving 
uh, leaving Jess unsatisfied with how the ending of the date goes. And I'm like, oh, man, is this a way and a sign of Jess saying that she just don't know if it's going to work with her and Russell? I was going to be a bit upset about it because from what I've seen so far, and I know it's only been the last episode in this episode, I actually like Russell a lot. I think he's a pretty cool dude. Um, he's honest with Jess. You know, I like that he was honest with her and uh, was able to open up to her and just say, hey, I'm sorry. I, I haven't been out on a date like this in years. You know, I, I probably am doing a shitty job at this uh, and I apologize for it. And I like the honesty uh, from Russell because I feel like for most part, the the type of relationships and, and situations that Jess been involved in, she doesn't really get that much. Uh, uh, she doesn't really get that much honesty out of the guy she's be, she's been with. Now, the last person she was with, uh, geez, I forgot his name, and I apologize about that. But Justin Long's uh, character, they were fine, but they were at two different places during, uh, in the relationship. You know, he wanted something more serious. She wasn't quite there yet. Um, but so he was a good guy, but. Her previous boyfriend before, though, was an ass. He cheated on her. There was no loyalty there. There was no trust there, no nothing. So I, I really liked what I seen from Russell, and, and I like to see that he seems like a pretty cool and good dude. So I'm all for it. I'm happy. And I hope that this means that he gets to stay on the show just a little bit longer. I say a little bit longer because, who knows, maybe he's here for three episodes, and then by season two, he's probably out of here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, by season two. Um, hopefully not. I like what I'm seeing from him so far, and hopefully we get some more cool stories, uh, from, uh, Russell and Jess, hopefully. Uh, we got the situation, you guys, between CC Schmidt, and now Winston, and what I mean by that is that Winston kind of knows the truth now. He knows about Schmidt and CC. Now, my thing is, I don't understand why CC's trying to keep this under wraps. It's more CC than Schmidt. But I don't really understand what's the problem. She enjoys being with Smith. She enjoys his company. She loves the sex with him. Why not just make it official? Why not just have, like, let's stop hiding. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to keep doing this hiding stuff anymore. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if she's ashamed uh, of Smith. And if she is ashamed of Smith, what I would like to see from him is... Put your foot down, dude. Put your foot down and tell her straight up, like, what you really want. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not, it's nothing bad or anything like that. It's just, I would love to see those two actually have a relationship, you know? I would like to see how those two can actually work as a couple. You know what I'm saying? They're just fooling around right now. They're just sleeping whenever with each other, but... That never really gets you anywhere, right? And and what I mean by that also is that let's say Schmidt starts to find somebody else and he's really into this girl. You know what I'm saying? I could totally see a scenario where Cece gets jealous and there's no one to blame but Cece because she doesn't want to make this thing public. She doesn't want to make this thing official. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying from all of this is that I would really, really like to see Schmidt and Cece just finally just come together and just tell everybody like listen we like each other we've been fooling around we want to date each other we want to let you guys know you guys are our friends you guys are our homies we want to let y'all know simple as that you know what i mean i want to see that hopefully we will eventually soon get an episode like that uh but i don't think we'll see that anytime soon i don't think we'll see that until maybe season two maybe season three to be honest with you guys maybe not season three season three that's probably a little too far away uh from now and especially with winston finding out about those two yeah season three is probably unlikely i think for sure in season two they're i i think their friends will finally catch on and know what's going on but i don't know if that would mean if they will make it official you know what i mean and i would love to see these two finally make this thing uh, uh, official and, and just date each other um was there anything else let's see Oh, we got introduced to Dirk, although I don't think he's going to be on the show anymore. I, I think this was just like a one type of uh, episode thing. But uh, I, I brought him up because he looks just like the dude from Freaks and Geeks, doesn't he? I was looking at him and I was like, he looks like him. I, I forget the character's name that I'm trying to, 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 to bring out to you guys. But hopefully what by me saying that, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's just about it. I don't think there's much more to really add on to it, ladies and gentlemen. I had a great time watching this with you guys. Feel free, comment down below if there's anything you guys would like to mention about this episode in Pacific, or if there's anything that I forgot. 
uh, to mention about this episode, definitely feel free. Let us know about it. And uh, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode of New Girl.